All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about uh, geometric sequences and series. Um, they're similar in the idea that they're uh, special, just like arithmetic. Uh, but instead of having a common difference, uh, geometric sequences and series have a common ratio. So a common ratio between the terms. Um, if you decide something is, er is, excuse me, is geometric, um, then the nth term formula for that there's a formula for that you can just plug your stuff into and it spits out the nth term formula. So a sub n equals a sub 1 r to the n minus 1. Uh, and this one is actually easier to use than the arithmetic one because there's really not any need to simplify. So the uh, example here that's in the notes 5, negative 1, 1 fifth, negative 1 over 25. Uh, once again, moving right to left, right to left. Now we're talking ratio, and ratio uh, is analogous to division. So we're going to take one, negative 1 over 25, and we're going to divide it by 1 fifth. So that's going to give us a negative 1 fifth. Similar again, we divide from right to left, so we'll get a negative 1 fifth there, and we'll divide and we'll get a negative one-fifth there. So since there's a common ratio now between, two, two, between all terms of negative one-fifth, uh, it's pretty clear this is geometric, and the nth term formula would be the first term, which is five, the common ratio, which is negative one-fifth, raised to the n minus one. And that's all you have to do. You don't have to simplify it. Um, and you can always check your answer. If you take n equals 1 and plug it in, you should get 5. n equals 2, you should get that. n equals 3, and n equals 4. So a great way to check your answer. Now, also similar to arithmetic sequences in the series, um, these sequences, which are functions, are very special, special uh, hopefully recognizable functions. Um, for a geometric sequence, these are exponential functions. Um, you have a base of a constant raised to the exponent with the variable. So geometric sequences are exponential functions. That'll help you pick things out very, very quickly uh, here in the near future. All right, so in example two, um, we're going to find the common ratio. So we're looking for the common ratio. They do tell us it's a geometric sequence. The second term is negative 1, and the fifth term is negative 27. Uh, so once again, we'll be sure to use the appropriate formulas here. Um, they tell us it's, it's geometric, so we know that we have the, the starting formula for arithmetic sequence to, to use. Um, and similar to how we work this so for arithmetic, um, we're going to treat this as a function uh, needing to have these two points. So we'll set up a system of equations. Now this one will be nonlinear um, because of the exponential function part, um, but it won't be really any different beyond that. So um, once again, my n value is 2. So I'm going to have a sub 2 equals a sub 1 r to the 2 minus 1. And that's going to equal negative 1. a sub 5 equals a sub 1 r to the 5 minus 1, and that's going to equal negative 27. I'll clean this up just a little bit. a sub 1 r to the 1st equals negative 1, and r, a sub 1 r to the 4th equals negative 27. So there's our nonlinear system that we would need to solve. Uh, we're looking for r, so it actually makes sense to solve for a sub 1. So if I solve both of these for a sub 1, my next step you can probably see is going to be to set them equal to one another. Uh, they're going to have r's in them. We solve for r, and we're done. Now, before moving forward with that, I, I do want to also remind you when you solve these nonlinear systems, uh, anytime you divide by unknown variables, uh, you got to make sure it's not 0. Now, we know that r is not 0 for a couple reasons. Um, probably the most intuitive is the fact that if you have something times something equals negative 1, that guy can't be zero, so I know that it's safe. Um, also, in context, our ratio won't ever be zero because that's what we would have been 
come up with by dividing, um, and that won't be the case either. So that's just kind of a sidebar. Be careful when you divide by unknown variables to make sure they're not zero. Okay, so back to the problem. Uh, we'll go ahead and set these things equal to one another. Negative 1 over r equals negative 27 over r to the fourth. I'm going to go ahead and multiply this thing by a negative r to the fourth. That should make it look a lot better once we get that finished. That will give us an r cubed equals a positive 27. And if we cube root both sides of this, r is going to equal 3. So again, very, very uh, straightforward. Um, using the formulas, we'll set up a system of equations uh, that have these points in common. Uh, will allow us to find whatever information uh, the problem is asking for.